Hello, and welcome to Google Threat Intelligence. This is our newest threat intelligence offering that combines the deep adversarial intelligence of Mandiant, the broad community intelligence of IrisTotal, and the power of Google Gemini AI to provide organizations with the most powerful threat intelligence platform to help protect their environment. Today, we're going to give you a short walkthrough of some of the features available within the platform. Utilizing AI-based threat profiles that are built off your geographical region and the industry that you are in, we are able to proactively understand the threat actors that are targeting you today, the campaigns associated with them, the malware that they utilize, the vulnerabilities they exploit, and groups of collections of intelligence artifacts that may be relevant to you. Within each one of these tabs, you'll see an overview of all the threat actors, what is new with each threat actor, you will see a MITRE TTP heat map of all the different techniques that these threat actors utilize, and you'll see relevant reporting curated by our Google Threat Analysis team. You can also drive down to the individual actor to determine their specific malware and tools that they operationalize, the vulnerabilities that they exploit, groups they are associated with, the latest reports, as well as the latest campaigns and many other key artifacts uh, about that specific individual target. We can then use the Community Threat Actors page to understand what the broader threat intelligence community has associated with this particular group. In this case, we can see that APT44 is also named Sandworm. Most threat actor groups have many aliases based on other organizations, which you will find right on the front page. From here, you'll have collections that provide you with different uh, artifacts of intelligence related to different pieces of malware, as well as the actual group itself. These are all from trusted sources within the intelligence community. You can get access to IOCs relevant to this particular group, telemetry, TTPs mapped back to the MITRE framework, as well as community references. All of this intelligence is powered by Gemini AI, which lets you get to the answers that you need faster and more efficiently. Let's take the example of Sandworm. If you wanted to understand more about that group, you could simply type in who is Sandworm at the top search bar. Within the middle page here, you're gonna get indicators that are relevant to the Sandworm group. On the right-hand side, you're gonna get Mandiant reporting, curated threat actors, as well as other artifacts that are related to this particular threat actor. And then within the Gemini Insights page, you're actually gonna get a nice concise write-up of what this group actually is and, and typically who they target. We can then append extra information or extra questions to uh, the search bar to allow us to expand our query to understand more about this particular use case. In this case, let's ask it what malware do they utilize? We now have a concise write-up of who this threat actor is, who they target, and the malware that they utilize, all powered by our artificial intelligence systems. With our curated and community intelligence combined, enriching indicators and understanding threats have never been easier. We just have to add an indicator to our search bar. We'll use a, this domain in particular here. And we are able to determine the maliciousness of the site immediately. If it is associated with any threat actors, any malware, any campaigns, all coming from our Google Threat Intelligence Threat Analyst Division, any sort of community information associated with this particular uh, domain, as well as any other references that may be useful in uh, your investigation. You can also see from a detection perspective what the broader uh, security vendor community knows about this particular threat. To help guide your investigation, you can also drill down into the details tab to understand more about the historical data of this particular uh, indicator as well as the Relations tab to understand other URLs, IPs, or any other artifact that may be associated directly with this particular indicator. This is all useful information when trying to drive down into an investigation and understand how widespread this actually is in your environment today. What we have shown today is just a small subset of what Google TI has to offer, and we look forward to showing you more.